How you going? Back again. And this week's tune is one I heard a lady from our Eagle Ukes group, Pam, sing. Uh, Love is all around. It was originally done, I think, by the Trogs in the 60s, and I heard it by uh, Wet 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 in the 90s. Marty Pella doing all these fancy things with it, and you can let yourself go loose with this one. My mixture is something probably between the, the, two, the two types. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to... Uh, there's a little link down there the arrow button just click the arrow button there's a link download the link print it off and you've got the sheet of music that I've, I've done it's in the key of C and it's got the little chord boxes so it's got everything there and uh, it's a great one for the learners because it's, it's like a round you've got C D minor F and G7 that's all there is and those seem to flow from one to the other but we'll go through that later I'm going to sing it first and then at the end of it, we'll go through it a little bit for a bit of a tutorial. Got my best mate again with me, Mr. Metronome. He's set at uh, 76 today. And this is going to give me the usual first and third beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's clicking on the first and third beat. As I say, as you know by now, don't learn things with a metronome. Learn them without. Get it all off nice and slow, piece by piece, section by section. And then put it all together and gradually then, when you're happy with it, put a metronome or an audio track in to help keep your timing right. You've got to develop a nice steady, steady tempo. But anyway, something like this. One, two, three, four. made up 
switch him off. So, what a it's a cracking, isn't it? It's a very sing along one. I think most people will know it. It's very catchy. It's it's a lovely song. So, strum I'm doing. It's a suggested strum, a suggested rhythm. Do experiment. But this one seems to fit to me, and it's just if we start on the C, down, 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 down. Now we here. This has got a low G string on, but it works with a high entry G string as well. I would tend to do down, feather these down. First beat, I'm trying to just hit my top string. You don't have to do that, but it gives it a bit of a bass, or it gives a bit of a, a start to the bar, and uh, it helps it flow along, I think. So the intro, um, and you don't have to put that up if you don't, you can just do straight down strums if you want, but it, it adds interest again. Always look with your strum to do something to add interest, and don't stick with everything throughout. I, I've done that uh, to try and keep things fairly simple, but. That, Mix, mix a bit in, try and experiment. Never be afraid to have fun with the ukulele, that's what it's all about. <laughs> try different things, try different bits. And um, so the intro, you just go on C, D minor, F, G7. Now see that G7 on that chord, I played it different. I went down, down, up, down, up. It's like a turn round, because then we're gonna go back into that line again, those four chords the intro because we play the intro twice through so C down 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 up down 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 up down down up down up yeah I'll do that slowly so start with a C down 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 up D minor down 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 up F down 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 up G7 that because you're going to do that all the way through all the choruses. If you get that little strumming rhythm in or a similar rhythm in you can use that all the way through. So that's a difficult thing to do especially when you start singing. So you could do it with the chords first and see how you go then put the lyrics in and then the end of that first um, verse you've got uh, eight single down strums on the G. Come on and show C, D minor, F, now G7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, on the F, you know I love you, I always will, so that, um, that, um, and try and not, don't do, although it says eight single down strums, try not to make it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, try and put some light and shade by altering the pressure on your strings, it's all practice and will come. Come on and let it show. C, D minor, and F. Here we go. G7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? And even that seven, eight, you can do seven, eight, seven, down, up, down. On the seventh to the eighth, you can put a down, up, down to make it more interesting. So if I play that slowly, that last line. Come on and let it show. Speed. Come on and let it show. You know I love you. Yeah. It just adds a bit of interest there, and that's something you can uh, practice and see see how you do. Everything else is just it's a flaw because it goes from C to D minor. Then you're just taking off your your ring finger to hit from D minor to F, then you're just putting your ring finger and your uh, ring finger and your middle finger onto the uh, first and third strings of the second fret to make a G7. So it's got this lovely, what we call a round, it's just four chords that go over and over and to hit the, uh, the chorus part. C, D minor, F, G7. So something to practice.
practice. But anyway, and then you just slow the last line on, last, last line down. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me if you do in the comments box and um, what you like, what you don't like. It's been great having more and more people each week join the channel by subscribing to it. And this, I normally put something out every Friday, primarily for our Eagle Ukes group, which hopefully should be getting back together in about a month's time. Yay! <laughs> but it's great to share the fun with everyone. Remember, don't get too hung up with these things. First and foremost, have fun with it. But do leave your comments. Uh, I love to hear how everybody is. And if you think this might help somebody that you know, hit the share button and send it off to somebody to uh, share the love because it's all around. Anyway, take care and see you next week. Bye for now. Love you all.